<laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is a fantastic 8.05 p.m. here in Singapore. And my name is Cloud Jack. Thank you all for watching. This is traditional China Farmers Team 2 versus Extreme Gaming Republic for the Blue Dota OGM Dota 2 Southeast Asian Open. This is a best of <laughs> Excuse me. This is a best of one, and this is for Group H. I believe this is the round of sixteen. I'm not sure about. You know, I've I've always been confused with the round of whatever bollockery. I've I I have never been able to understand that. In any case, it's gentlemen, traditional China farmers. I remember these people from way back, way back in the day. In other words, like four months ago. Yeah, um, back during the season, during Open 2, um... Five yeah, seconds I remaining. I just to make sure that they can't hear what I'm saying. Because if I, if I accidentally turned on all chat, yeah, Reserve time. every single word. No, wait, that's if I left on. <coughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. What it is... I remember traditional China Radiant from, team pick. Um, from the only gaming matters Southeast Asian Dota 2 Open 2, which is the first tournament I've ever casted in my life. So mad props to them for actually letting me volunteer. Because I just, like, on day 2, I was like, guys, can I cast for you? And I was like, sure! So yeah, I am I'm really, really thankful. Shadow Demon! Without them, I, I would Dire have, team I would not be... Oh man, I would have missed out, I would have missed out. Okay, let's look at this draft very quickly. We've got the standard bands, except for Invoker. Invoker, not when you would, well, not when you would class as tier 1. By any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Invoker's been somewhat dipping in terms of popularity. Really, he's not been somewhat dipping. He has been dipping with only, with only the most... Uh, 10 seconds remaining. Oh, oh wait, hang on, I got five got something. Five LOL Druid! I apologize. Dire team pick. Phantom Lancer. Oh, man. Radiant Dinner was good, pick. that's all I'm saying. Dinner was good. Okay! So as I was talking about Invoker, um he's not exactly a very top tier pick, considering considering the nerves he's been hit with recently. Especially in terms of his base damage. He starts off with, what, 39 base damage? That's Keeper like, that's worse than the Shadow Demon right there, man. That is worse than Shadow Radiant Team okay, Of course, he does have the advantage of gaining stats for every level, but that would severely limit Ten his seconds star. remaining. And if you don't win your lane, if you're going Exhort, right? If you don't win your lane, five seconds remaining. you're going to be useless. Much more so for Invoker than for Reserve almost any time. other mid hero. Why? Because Invoker needs so much more levels to be here, to be marginally more to be marginally effective as compared to other mid heroes who only need like six or seven and then you can start running around ganking and being awesome. Alright that's enough on one band. Let's look at the picks Lone Druid. Sorry, Shadow Demon followed up by Lone Druid Life and Phantom Lancer and then Keeper of the Light and a Life Steamer. So right the bat on PCF we have two very very strong very hard Radiant carries team in the form of Silabet and Azrite Wraith. Um, okay, so, okay, so Lone Druid's gonna be probably gonna be taking the off lane, in this case, yeah, okay, he's gonna be taking the off lane, Phantom Lancer's gonna be taking up the easy lane, spawned by Bane and one other person. So Bane, a very good counter to the life stealer, if you will, because, uh, and Feeble cannot be spelled by BKB, and Fiend's grip goes Radiant through team BKB, band. so mad props to them for actually knowing, you know, to do this. Uh, very, 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 very well done to Sushi, I believe. Sushi is probably the... I remember Sushi. I remember Fish Apples. And yeah, I remember those two. The rest I'm not so sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're listening, I'm sorry. No, the stream is not too soft. You! You are, are too dead. Sorry, I'm talking to my mod. <clears throat> okay, so. Eh. Uh, what else do we have to talk about? Okay, so the Tinker Ben, that's uh, that's mildly Ten interesting. Ten seconds right, remaining. Right? 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 Okay. So, um, why you ban on the Tinker? That's a very good question. Dire Tinker. Extreme Gaming ben. Republic now requires a few more mid heroes. In other words, one. Of course, they could put Light Steam on mid lane, but that would somewhat Radiant hamper Team the mid lane. Ben. Why? You put your you put a strong mid lane in the mid lane. Uh, Queen of Pain, Invoker, Tinker. Rubik. Elix Assassin. Okay, you put those heroes up in the mid lane, and more often than not, you're gonna Radiant run around and do team something with pick. It. Fine, okay, okay, my, my, my voice is too soft. Fine, I boosted the levels by 20%, are you happy now? 
Bloody hell. Okay, so as I was saying, your mid hero, more often than not, your mid hero controls the tempo of the game, controls the momentum. Okay, if your mid hero screws up, then you're pretty much gone. Your game is probably going to be very, 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 very hard to win. Ten seconds remaining. That being said, a life stealer. Five, sec never five die seconds base. remaining. Almost never die. He's got a high base movement speed of 315. Reserve base. time. And he's got a rage, which is built in BKB. Which is, you know, Tide BKB, Hunter. Always good, always good. And we have a Tide Hunter. It's been Dire a while since I last saw that. Very long while indeed. Even pro teams. I don't really see Tide Hunter a lot nowadays. It's been overshadowed by Keeper of the Light and Shadow Demon. No pun intended. Alright, let's glance through the bands very quickly. Tinker, interesting band, let's get a mid hero. Darkseer. For some reason, Darkseer has been shafted to the more. What's that? The, to the second band phase. The uh, second band phase. Uh, Darkseer has been pushed all the way back there, as opposed to, you know, first band, first pick material. That was like a few months ago, during the international and a few months after that. And now Darkseer has been. You know, push the third, uh, second band phase. He's still, he's still in ten the, seconds uh, remaining. In the second, second highest tier. Five effect, seconds so then, remaining. I say. But Drive yeah, so many very popular nowadays. All right. Die. Wow, not giving us. Hang on. What? Uh? I am confused. I am... I am confused. I think these guys have... <laughs> a little bit greedy, perhaps, with their picks? Ah, oh, no, you have, like, two very, very hard carries. Let me just... Yeah! Alright, so, you've got two very, very hard carries. In the prepare for oh. battle! If you want peace, you must prepare for war. If you want war... You must also prepare for war. The yeah, lesson is always prepare, prepare for war. war. No. Okay. So you see, they already have Phantom Lancer and they already have Lone Druid. So, eh? I don't know, man. I this is a little bit too greedy. But let us see what they make of it. As I have to adjust my keyboard in a second. And here we go. This is adorable. I don't know what this is, but I think it's adorable. Not that thing. This thing. No, what no. Faster pick. <laughs> oh, this should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so while Phantom Dancer is busy taking a shit, let me very quickly get go through the players, then I'll go back to talking about the uh, dire draft. We've got Ich Lieben Dijk. I'm not ever pronounce that, actually. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just We've got this dude on Garakopta. I'm probably gonna refer to him as Lieben, Lieben, Lieben from now on. We've got Hello on Keeper of the Light. You gotta, you gotta raise your voice because it's all caps rage! We've got a bunch of Chinese characters, which I'm not even going to bother pronouncing, so we're just going to call them Nix. And we've got a bunch more Chinese characters, which I also... Hang on, hang on, hang on. One something... Something... Something laugh. One something and you will laugh. Let's just call him laugh. Alright, we've got laugh on the shadow demon. And we've got... Oh, son of a... I don't know. Okay, Tide Hunter. Son of Okay, I'm just gonna call these guys by their heroes' names, okay? And on the other side of the river, we've got Skippy. Thank you for using a legible word. Skippy on the Lone Druid. We have... We have Pjaffles on the Chaos Knight. We've got Sushi on the Invisible Ball. That is Ayo. We have Raw on the Bane. And we have Zestalicious Nope, Nope, Nope on the Phantom Lancer. Who went to take a shit? Okay, I'll try to toggle that. I'll try to toggle that around. Give me a second. Alright, my Dota 2 has been knocked about 40% now. If it's soft, then I 
I really don't know what to do. I mean, I've, I've been facing this problem all damn for the past month or so in my commentaries. I have absolutely no idea how to get my voice off. Actually, let me just try something real quick. No, damn it, don't PM me! What? No. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, oh, that's bad. Tide hunter, my friend. Guys, can we relax? This ping is seven hundred. This is not good. This is not good. I have gyrocopter. Oh, sorry, I was gyrocopter. Yeah, your ping is like one million or something. Are you okay, bro? What the hell? Um, these guys are from China, yeah. Mmm, sushi. They're playing at 200 ping while Garcom is playing at 700 ping, it's not good. Um, go and ready, but Garcom is gonna be at severe disadvantage, man. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Alright, and game is gone. Game is going. Game is now on the way. Seconds to battle. I wish you the best of luck, Sir Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter, because you are now, once again, sitting at 700 ping. Okay. Hang on, I was talking about Phantom Dancers? Yes, I was. Okay. So this is this this gives me an overwhelming sense of greed to me because you've already got Phantom Dancer who needs an, a cosmic amount of bar. Okay, and you've got a lone druid who, while not very item dependent, will make <laughs> what the hell that made no sense. While not very item dependent, still need some level of farm. I need to work. Ugh, this is not good. I should have made so much. Ugh. Ugh. And now I'm tired as well. This is awful. Okay. So yeah, I was uh, talking about So yes, this guy needs an also also a large amount of farm. And Chaos Knight, okay, Chaos Knight, he's got his wrist, he should be fine, but that's the problem. That's the problem. They already have a Phantom Dancer, they already have a uh, Scylla Bear. I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't know how this Trilane and Top's gonna work out. You're gonna keep planting and feeble, your mana's gonna disappear, so. Your mana is just gonna vanish like absolute How long is this last? See, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yo, your damage is still absolutely shite. You pop that uh, rage. Just to get the attack speed going. Okay, and this is sort of how they're gonna control this thing, I guess, but his mana is going to run out. See, he's already at half mana, and he can't, and he only has one clarity. He can do it one more time, but. Casual ward? Uh, okay, okay, this ward sees down here as well. So that is cool. As I say that. Sorry, I was busy. A barrage, gush, nicely done. Nicely done indeed, and yes, well, okay, there we go. Second point, you told me this up. I was not expecting that. <coughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. That is for damn sure. Bottom is missing. Mm. Okay, bottom is missing. Who was supposed to be at mid? No, hang on, wait, what? I just noticed they left mid completely open. Okay. Okay, so they're gonna give Chaos Knight the farm, they're gonna let uh, Chaos Knight at least both get the XP. And they're gonna say, alright, you're gonna take 6, but we're gonna, but you're not gonna be able to do anything. Which is a little bit of a, I don't know. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They should know, they should know, see there's a vision around here, but, oh, 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 oh. trying to, trying to, don't worry, bad boys, bad boys, but, Casually hastily picked up. Just, just look at this guy. This guy is, this guy is boring. This guy is actually freaking boring. And I do apologize for that. I do have my Chrome open, 
so I can keep my eyes on the dash rod and chats, but uh, I also have Facebook open as well, because why the hell not? So yeah, this is this is quite interesting. This is anyone's game at this point. Because Gary Copter, one of the strongest carries in the game for six hits. Um Knife Stealer strong for six second EKB. You know, you know, that's that's gonna make anyone strong. Um what else do we have? No, look at the bad man's game! Uh, that, was that. that was just sad. Okay, so a lot of warning going on. A lot of warning in these guys wanna keep this top lane firmly in their grasp. And I do apologize for not putting this up earlier. Wisp now with five denies. So MVP, ladies and gentlemen. MVP. Over on the mid lane, they should be absolutely fine, and of course, they are both already at level three. Fine, and then now with boots, Garacopter. Too much regen to drop anything, he doesn't really want to drop anything at this point. Because you know, when you've got 50 odd base damage, you don't want to drop any of your tank. I mean, I would not just. Oh my goodness. Alright, so Lifesteal has gone for 1 in all of his skills, as has. Nope, these guys are level 3 at So this bear is doing what the bear does best running around, being annoying, blocking the camp, pulling the creeps over here. But he realizes this, he realizes this. Gary Copter, the bear can. Um, Skippy, son of a whore, I forgot it. So Skippy realizes this, and so, oh, he's going to double stack. I mean, double skip. Okay, that's good. This is going to force Titan to tank a bit of the creep wave, and because he has an epic point in his Kraken shell, he's going to be able to do so. He's going to be able to do so. And so with two waves, uh, Skippy should be able to get a bit more XP, should propel him almost turbo 5, I want to say. Shapple's good, sir. We're yeah, adventurous, aren't we? Alright, so tether was used and the balls almost scored a kill. Unfortunately, uh, almost never won anyone anything. Double damage. Oh, okay, I was not even double damage, we know. Whoever sees is almost dead. Tether's gone. Tether should be coming around. Back up. Very good. Dodging the uh, illuminate. All right, so we see the rotation coming into mid lane. Keeper of the light and shadow demon, looking to uh, put a. Oh, there we go. Oh. Girls, nice. Like, come over here. And shadow demon's like, nope. So much. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Alright, so good awareness on the game, dodging the FPW and Knight, where is... Oh, he's only level 3, my goodness. This is not what you'd expect, honestly, it's really good. Alright, so level 1 homing missile is going to be targeting Jack, or he's not going to be able... I mean, that's, that's going to be fine, right? I mean, extra bonus, yes. Alright, so 20 bonus gold going his way. Uh... Wow, raw, now up to level 2, so 1.2 Nightmare, okay. Good because Nightmare is more useful than Brings, especially when you're a measly support hero. And I am looking at the stream, there seems to be frame droppings as I say that. There we go, there's the, there's the disruption to start, 2 seconds done. Homing Missile is going to be the target and drop the barrage falls off. Man, just to kill off Keyboard Light though, before, before I actually. Nope, he's still fine, he's still fine. Un, 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 nice. I'll set you. Bouncing on Armageddon's flank. Hmm, fog. What? 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 That was interesting. Uh, no, yeah, there we go. Chaos Knight and Wisp are just too strong. Just too strong. Wisp with uh, the, them spirits, he's going for more punch of spirits, I suppose. A high duration stun, and you know that's absolutely fine. Uh, sorry, I am not dealing at the best of health. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Garakopter is gonna be sorry, what am I saying? On the bot lane, Garakopter is gonna be destroying the lone druid once again. So, at least, at least, uh, our extreme gaming republic didn't lose every single one of the lanes, they want bot. You can't say they won top because Phantom Lancer is still happily farming. 
it's not as high as, uh, not as many denies as the Nate's kills, kills happening everywhere. I oh man, just to pick up Shadow Nate with the balls, I assume. Yeah, there's one ball missing. Or is there? No, there isn't. All balls are there. Okay. I, I am confused, man. I, I am confused. So we see the Garacopter opting for more points into his homing missile, as opposed to the standard oh, no, Max Black see. Cannon or Max Rocket Barrage first. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. A minus 30 damage, more than enough to keep life the off the creep wave. Got a damage variance of 10. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. That's quite standard, I guess. That's quite standard. Okay, so... Alright, so we're now into this minor lull here. Eight minutes into the game, we've got six kills on the board, and someone's just got disrupted. Is it Io? Is... No, it's the Chaos Knight. Ho ho, big illuminate. Big illuminate indeed, but he's gonna be fine. No follow up there because they couldn't follow up there. Most unfortunate. That would have been a very few kill. A very few kill. Dyer's structures are fortified. I wanted to point out something. What did I want to point out? Oh, hang on. As I say that, Io now level 6. Relocate going on the bot lane. All sitting stud, but that's it. Damage is just too much. And the tower. Tower almost goes down. Dyer's very good uh, relocate in there. Very timely relocate. I'm gonna pop back to mid, get a bit more farm. While oh, this ping is going off on the top of Nate, something's about to happen. Yes, no, maybe. Alright, so Shadow Demon, keep up the light, roaming around to the top. This was gonna scout them out, so no surprises coming in. Ah, a Radiant Ward here? Yep, yeah, okay, so this ward is gonna scout these guys up here, but at this point, when they get up here, it's gonna be a bit too late. There we go, stun goes off, 2 seconds, relatively high amount of damage. Just look at the damage coming from the guy right there. Earth is gonna pick him off nice and easy, so his Shadow Demon picked off by the final click. Where's Ravage? There we go. Huge Ravage, catches everyone of importance, but just, just so tanky right now. It's so damn tanky, it's not even funny. Rocket Barrage ain't doing anything because it's split among so many units. Only missile is gonna be shot out of the sky before it hits Io. I hope, oh, yes indeed it is. Is that a real okay? Nope, it's just 2 TPs. Uh, so it's uh, orange and shadow demon. Sorry, orange. That is keyboard light as well as shadow demon. <laughs> it's really it's gonna be picking off the gyrocopter. No must, no fuss. And ooh, quick mana to give him a quick of stun. Soul catcher, man. Soul catcher. Soul catcher just too good. Without that soul catcher, I think they could have gotten killed anyway. Okay. Dyer's top tower is okay. under attack. Ah, um, I haven't cast it for a week. I'm grateful to you. Sorry, for about five days. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So Life Stealer appears to be going straight omelet. Doesn't need any movement speed because you know why the hell would I need movement speed? They are gonna come to me. And that is exactly what he's going to be doing. No dropped frames. According to OBS, seems to be fluctuating a bit. Especially, oh, as I say, they're okay. Four seconds stun, Garcopter dies first. Where's the radar rift? There we go. And hello says goodbye. Yeah, I've been waiting all game to say that. I have been waiting all game to say that. Okay. Meanwhile, on the middle lane, you're gonna pick up a tower. What is this? Radiant's bottom tower no. is under attack. Okay. Things go out, region scout it out. Nice. Top room, okay. There's gonna be a top room and a bunch of guys coming in. Down the wall, see if there's anything up there. Of course there isn't. Oh wait, no, there is, there is, there is. Be awarded, sir. This guy did not get a single uphill miss. Not a single uphill miss. What the hell, sir? What the hell? Alright, things going out on the mid lane as well. Ravage almost up. There's the reality rift where the ball's 4 seconds on. Oh man, 4 seconds stun and quite high on the damage mode. That was maximum damage. That stun hit for maximum damage, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just point that out. Oh, and that rocket for damage. Almost no. There's Nightmare, Reality Rift, had the stun, there's the Chaos Vault, 
Disruption to go, so catch on the follow up. Is there anything else you can do? Resurrect? Yeah, did I? Resurrect? Yeah. Easy kills, easy kills everywhere. Four second stun, almost max damage. What the hell is this guy's luck? What the hell is this guy's luck? Radiant structures are fortified. Neo's Knight's mojo. That makes sense. Radiant's middle tower is under it. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Son of a Ah, can't run. Here we go, the wraparound. Radiant's top tower. And the Chaos Knight spots his prey. He says the Tide Hunter, but he's gonna back off. He's gonna run him over to the bot line. He says a life stealer. Life stealer with no boots. There's an Isaac life stealer. Here we go. Ding ding. Ding ding. No entangle! Nice! There we go. There's the entangle we've all been waiting for. And a few more beatdowns, and he is dead. Four seconds start, almost max damage. Ultimate is used. Can he get out? No. Unfortunately, he's gonna take fall either way. Un Ravaged use for nothing. Two kills on the board, going the way of TCF. And this is why I chose these guys. This is why I chose these guys. I remember they were good. I remember they were good. And now they're gonna take bot? Nope, nope, Radiant's before that. They want, they want more food. Attack. They want more blood. Duration 24 seconds. Not the longest of illusions, but. Oh! Damn! How long does this hold? Oh, bonus duration lasts for 1.2 seconds. That's unfortunate. 4 seconds stun. Very low on the damage rules, unfortunately. That's the 10th stun follow up. I'm gonna earn charge to go, and he's Armed now completed on the Chaos Knight. Wisp now finish up, finishes up his own mech. Bot tower has been taken down by the uh, by Skippy. Ugh. Excuse me, 14 minutes in and click a very good item check. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Armlet, and that's about it. Meanwhile, on the other side, armlet, drums. Oh my goodness. I just had a mini sick. As the rip. Oh, the ends! Just as he comes around from the rift, that that was unfortunate. That was that was really unfortunate. But they're gonna keep going. No, no, no entangles. Alright, they're gonna back off. Yeah, entangle and creep. Why why the hell not? Right? Right, okay. So uh, on the other side we've got TCF with armlet and drums up on Fijavels. Drums was the second item after Urn. Uh, another set of drums on the Phantom Lancer is now working towards the ship. He's a diffuser Radiant's blade and that's about it. Bane, level 6 despite being poor as all hell, he has reached his level 6 and that's some level comparison. Shadow Demon, lowest level on the uh, Radiant team is level 5, you want the lowest level on the side of the diet, Radiant 6. Tower so you clearly know who is that ahead in terms of chances of winning. Anything else we can look at? Current goal? No. Net worth! Yeah, okay, exactly what I expected. It is a complete mirror of the level here, gentlemen. Complete mirror of the levels. Da 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 da. Okay, let me let's just leave. Da, let's just leave this up. Shackles now. <laughs> Illuminate makes short work of the illusions, but that crit, that stun, just destroying that shadow. Just destroying that shadow. There's the rift, where's the stun? Nope, where's Stormbolt? Stormbolt is winding up. Nope, don't need Stormbolt. One crit, one hit, and you did. Now after the next one to take a fall, it's 3 to 23, 16 minutes in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first game of this series, right? The first game that these guys have played, and they're ahead by this much. This is insane. There are four other matches happening concurrently, but there's only a stream up for one other match, and that is for, I forgot the name of the game. Live and phase, phase, that's the name. Order something phase. Oh, four seconds, sir. Negative earn charge and chaos night will pick up that kill. So many charges right now, it's not even funny. Oh, there's the rift. Big crit, big crit that was. Absolutely gigantic. And that's the script, and he did. Easy pick off, easy cleanups. And keep on alive with people with the brain zap, and he's going to fall as well. So Bane's gone, gone for the max brain zap, because you know why the hell not, as well as to the max anything else. Casually walks in, pops a ravage, but. But. Nope. Nope. They're like, alright, Ravage, now what? Now what? Now you die! This bear, this bear solo is gonna take a fall for the final right power right click. 
Oh man, this game looking firmly in the hands of traditional China farmers. 19 for 1 is the score up on the Chaos now. This guy, the big man right here, 3.2k. He's gonna be picking up a Reaver's, uh, Reaver from the shop very, very quickly. Meanwhile, the Phantom Lancer has been happily free farming. Not the same amount of gold, obviously, because you know, killing heroes is much more profitable than killing creeps. I was like, there we go, there's a reaver up on him. But Phantom Lancer, Phantom Lancer assures the late game, essentially. Once again, no frames drop. Frame per second, sitting in a comfortable 46. So you guys should be absolutely fine there. He's gone into the doppel wall, but how long has this gone last? Last 8 seconds should be more than enough. Yeah, and he did it. It's more than enough for him to run the hell away. He's rune up on Wisp. Brrr. Radiant's okay, bottom tower is that. under attack. It's gonna run straight. Oh no! It's what is a hundred and hundred thirty-five times one point five? I don't know. I don't know. But this is a good war. This is a good war. It's going on much more in this area where Titan is more likely to stand up here and then walk down. As opposed to this ward up here, which will only I can draw. What am I doing? All right, this ward up here is only able to scout about this much. All right, this ward on the other hand is able to. Oh no! As I say that, nice stun. I did not see for how long. There's the brain set. There's the beam script. He immediately destroyed in seconds. Unless I want to take ball with the shadow demon. So, um, so yeah, after your casually killing of two heroes, uh, casually attaining, uh, sorry, solidifying your beyond god, like, let me talk about this one. So this one over here, right, it'll give you vision here, and as you can see by this fog line here. Yeah, alright, let me just quickly change the dire vision, sorry, dire vision. Uh, because of the creep wave, you can see it's around here as well, but yeah, you can see quite a lot with this, uh, this one here. A most useful ward, indeed. Alright, let me just switch back to Oh, this is Dire Vision. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was I was almost completely right. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, this is all good. Once again, pushing against the key... Push, la, la. Let's try that again. Pushing against the Keeper of the Light is just so very, very hard to do. Considering, you know, Keeper of the Light's pretty much the, the end time push. But this is what they're gonna be. This is what the radiant. Uh, sorry, this is what the dyer's draft is gonna be good at. They're gonna split push between the between lone druid, the phantom dancer, and the main force marching on the middle lane. These guys are gonna be able to push every single lane with no problem whatsoever. The only problem will be the mana. Will be mana to sustain these pushes. The phantom dancer is gonna need to gonna need to pop a few uh, spirit lances to keep the people away. As I say that, look at mid two seconds. Now look at that damage. Oh man, Keeper of the Light, a bit slow on that. Uh, on that. Oh no, he was about to pop the reality rift. My goodness, Keeper of the Light, living life dangerously. Living life very dangerously indeed. Zappos casually stuns. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that clear. Okay, <laughs> he walks back into it. Why? Why would you walk back into it? Why? I don't understand. There's the Ravage gonna be used, he's gonna be catching uh, both Chaos Knight and the Wisp. Wisp is gonna be running for his life, he can focus down off the uh... Oh, that was, that was... that was nice, okay, that was nice. I'll explain that later. As we say that Fiend's grip up on the Life Stealer, he's gonna be quick and fast when it's just to save his life for a bit longer. I'm the Toggle Illusion, we'll pick up that kill. Nope, as it's Bane with the right click, I do what Another 4 seconds stun on the Shadow Demon, and he is now dead. Uphill Ward here gonna be providing even more vision, but hey, sincere, seriously, need more advantage, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, they're gonna be going straight in, they don't care. Did you see that crit? He just crit for 1k, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, that was. That was just painful, man. That was just, that was just painful. Did you see that? <laughs> oh man, truly this guy is the harbinger of Armageddon. Especially for those who don't control him. See, this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to give a Chaos Knight free farm at mid. I know it's just free farm for a few minutes, but 
Radiant structures are fortified. But the but Extreme Gaming Republic did do good at porting. Um, controlling uh, what's his face? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Is he casually cancelling all these barracks? Are under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks. Yeah, I think he is. There you go, bot Rex. Min Rex has already taken a fall. Why aren't they calling GG? I do not understand. Is it because Gary Copter is lying? I'm just trying to quickly check the pings. <laughs> 728 ping, what the hell? Okay, fine. Gary Copter was the only one who picked up a few kills, so you can't really attribute this to his fault. It's more like, you know, Chaos Knight just being so tanky so very, very quickly. And GG is called 23 minutes, for 13, sorry, 23 minutes, 13 seconds, ruined by lag. Yeah, that is quite true actually. They really were lagging. These TCF go that man. Yeah. Okay, we get it. You call it GG. Let's move on with like the DC of the game. Come on. Okay. Okay. Thank you for calling it again. Now you may. You may not. Hey, <laughs> you see that crit? My goodness. She just. Oh no, no, the this life bar. I saw disappear from my very eyes. Guys, end the game. End the game on DCL, either or. Come on. Let's do so. No? No? Okay. Yay, more wands. Yay, this guy ready to four star. Kill the Mariah. Yeah, this guy's sitting at 6k. He's gonna be picking up this tower, and I fully expect him to go buy a divine. I fully expect him to sell his uh, magic wand and go buy a divine. Or, or fountain farm, even more. Okay, let's see how much he crits here. No crits. No crits. He crit was that 815 or something? 744. He's gonna die. He's. Oh, he didn't. He didn't do it well enough. He died. Dead. He. Dead. Finally, his streak ends, giving up a bounty of 762 gold. Can you end the game, guys? Radiance middle tower guys. Has fallen. No, nope, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Awesome, not a single drop to free. It's going at about 2k. Holy crap, it would shot up to about 2k. Kill by 2 seconds. Damn, okay, I like my internet speed. And there we go, the Radiant Ancient will now explode. A phantasmagoria of color. It's probably wrong way to use that word, but you know. My name has been Cloud Jack. The stream will be going down momentarily. Uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.